We are pleased and proud right now to be joined by one of my favorite guests, and that's State Representative from District 76, Mary Ellen Hawkins. Mary Ellen, thank you for joining us tonight on Gulf Coast thank Journal. You for well, I think uh, unless you've been asleep or under a rock or whatever, everybody knows by now that you've chosen not to seek re-election mm -hmm. this year, which will bring a halt to your 20-year uh, uh, holding of that office in District 76. I guess where we start is, why are we why are we calling it quits? Well, I made a positive decision, and I made it over the last two years so that uh, I could uh, know whether I could live with that decision and not have withdrawal symptoms. Uh, I guess I'll get some withdrawal <laughs> symptoms, but, but perhaps I can stand it. And uh, so it, it is a positive decision. Mm -hmm. Now, you did say this is, this is a decision you've made over the past couple of years, because I know some have speculated that with the intense uh, competition, so to speak, in this oh, year's no. race, that that might have no, no. that might have played a part. If we had not gone um, uh, a week overtime, I would have announced the decision before um, Mike Volpe uh, mm -hmm. announced. Mm -hmm. But uh, we, I wanted to to. Uh, uh, go through this, the regular session without being a lame duck because my effectiveness would have been um, affected there. Mm -hmm. And um, um, so by the time I got back, he had announced two days before that. And uh, so I, I had so many phone calls saying, please, uh, we, know, we hope you're going to run. Let us help. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll think about this again. And uh, so I, I had already made arrangements to go to Europe for a month something I would not have done if I had been running. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so I opened a campaign account and, and to rethink it and went to Europe and thought about it and came back and realized I should uh, try to do what I had planned. Mm -hmm. I think we were talking before the show, one of the things I found interesting is I asked you, I think it was something along the lines of, did you lose the lust for the job or did you not <laughs> enjoy it? And you really didn't get into this well, for the reasons I think a lot of people think that you did. That's right. I'm, I never have been a typical politician um, in, a, in that I was always going to have a goal in mind and try to be president or governor at mm -hmm. least. Uh, I, um, I went to the legislature because the legislature is the, is the institution that I knew I could get things done in. I had spent 10 years on Capitol Hill before moving here and I, I knew that process and I wanted to get some things done. and. Uh, uh, so I went to the House of Representatives and I found that I had uh, wor had to work with so many senators in the district that I had at the time that uh, I got to know a lot of them and I could get things done in the House and the Senate. So I never tried to move to the Senate because I might not have been able to get things done in the House if I had left it. So I was never there. P people used to say to me, well, you must enjoy it. You're running again. Um, I can't say that I ever really enjoyed it. I, I was there because I wanted to be the one to make the decisions. Mm -hmm. Now, I, you talked about you wanted to be there to help make decisions and participate in the political process. Over 20 years, there's got to be some, some legislation that you look back on that you must be proud of. Well, there's lots mm -hmm. that I that I. Can am we talk about it, maybe a couple and, of those highlights? And it's impossible to cover um, all of it in, mm -hmm. in a short time. Uh, I think I remember the ones that were the hardest to get done, <laughs> and the hardest one to get done was the first one that I got done, <clears throat> and that is the establishment of the Big Cypress Basin. It's a water management sub-basin of the uh, South Florida Water Management District. I did it because um, to, to save uh, Collier Countyans from having to pay the high taxes that they would have had to pay had they gone directly into the district and also to, to protect our water supply. Uh, at that time, uh, we, were way, we were very frightened that the East Coast dry counties such as Dade and Broward and Palm Beach were going to come over and get our sure. water. And uh, so I uh, fashioned this basin uh, with the idea in mind that we would have to give the water to them rather than their being able to take it if we mm -hmm. were in the district abroad. So uh, th that district has allowed us to tax ourselves for what we wanted to tax ourselves, have a local governing board of local people rather than the people from uh, all over the 18 or so counties that are in there. Uh, and uh, it's worked out very well. And it may work out even better in the future when we don't have to pay quite as much for cleaning up the Everglades as the rest sure. of the district. Well, I, I'd be shot by every viewer if I didn't ask you, what's next for, uh, for Mary Ellen <laughs> Hawkins? Or do we even know? Well, 
I hope I know, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to accomplish uh, the same things that I was trying to accomplish in the legislature. I just want to try to accomplish them another way. And I've thought I'd like to try writing mm -hmm. a book. Also, you've compared notes with Carol <laughs> Joes then before the show, I'll didn't stage, you? Yes. <laughs> well, I, I want to ask you one last question about what's currently going on in uh, in Tallahassee. Maybe you can shed some light on our for our local viewers. Governor Childs is very, very much committed to his health care plan. In yes, fact, the extra session that you talked about. Where do you see that going? I, I don't. I think when he was here the other day, he did mention that he would not call another session as mm -hmm. he had threatened mm -hmm. unless he could change a vote or two. Now the last special session he called, he lost one vote, so <laughs> <laughs> so so there was a tie in the Senate 2020 and he and he lost one of the Democrats to the Republican side and uh, uh, and so it didn't it, he lost ground and didn't work out too well. Um, I think he ma made him made the commitment or made an issue of health care as being the keystone of his mm -hmm administration and campaign and so Similar forth. Similar to what President and, Clinton's and done. <laughs> exactly. And so that it, it becomes an embarrassment now that we did not pass it. So um, he should never have called us back mm -hmm. to as soon as he did after we had just turned down the exact sure. same thing in a session. But um, I guess uh, well, even, even if you've been in a long time, you can make a mistake. Right? Yeah. Well, we're out of time. I guess we'll just see where that uh, issue takes us. We'll see if the governor lets that go or not. But I, I want to thank you for it. taking the time to stop by and talk to us here on Gulf Coast Journal. Sort it's, of an exit interview. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. Gee, and I got the, uh, the responsibility of conducting <laughs> right. it, too. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Good luck in whatever endeavors thank you follow. Thank you very much. Thank you. When we come back, the weather and more is next on Gulf Coast Journal.